Welcome back to the 621 2023 feature series. Today's car needs no introduction. The Nissan Silvia S14. 200SX or 240SX, depending on where it was made, a car with legendary status within car tuners, from circuit to drifting. This car has earned this reputation through years of battling on the track, the streets and mountain passes, not to mention a few car parks too. The S14 came with an SR20 DET engine, unless you're in America where you've got a K24, which, well, anyway, back to the SR20. Two litre turbo, four cylinder engine with approximately 217 brake horsepower for factory, 50 50 weight distribution on the chassis and rear wheel drive. This S14 was the perfect recipe for adrenaline junkies, wannabe drift kings, and queens to get their hands on. Now, in 2023, the S14 has a cult following, and with that SR20 debt being considered to some as God's motor and the worst thing in the entire world to others, the S14 now finds itself powered by motors from other manufacturers. Honda K-Series and Toyota Jay-Z seem to be popular swaps right now, and the potential these have for builders is incredible. Today, we look no further than a 693 brake horsepower 2JZ swap streetcar. Let's check it out. So I am joined today by the famous S-Body Soph. Thank you for coming down again. That's okay, it's been a hot minute. It has been, and at least we've got some hot weather today. Yeah. Unlike last time. It was so cold, I was literally freezing <laughs> the whole time. But well, I wanted to get you back down because obviously the features are, are back rolling again on the channel. So yeah, thank you again for coming down. I know it's uh, quite a trek for you. <laughs> it was the most horrendous drive of my life. Seven hours in blazing heat with a JZ that's doing nothing but pour <laughs> hot air at you. But I'm happy that I'm here. I'm happy you're here too. Um, I know we've already done a video on it on it previously. Mm -hmm. um, I want to quickly touch base on what the car is for those yeah. who didn't see the first video and then uh, go over the changes that have been made. So let's talk what the, what the car is. So it's a Nissan Silvia or 200SX if you're one of those political people. Um, <laughs> with a 2JZ GTE in it. Um, it kind of is one of those, you get what you get kind of car to be fair. The car was built down with Connor at CM Customs. Um, my, when I first bought the car, I literally had it for about two months before it started knocking. And I was like absolutely gutted and I wanted it fixed like ASAP. So um, a friend of mine put me in touch with Connor um, and he was like, yeah, we can fix it, but like, you know whatever and obviously he's into like big builds um so he was like oh you know you could do something cool with it and we sort of spoke backwards and forwards and we were talking about either building a big power sr possibly put in an rb25 in it and he was like you could be like really cool and put a 2j in it and at that time i had some money to burn so i was like yeah you know what let's just go for it let's put a 2j in it and it was supposed to be like a six month build and it ended up spending about 18 months down there because he's one of those people that was like, you could do this, but you could do this and it'll be cooler. And I was like, yeah, do it. Do whatever you want. It is your money. Go and build it and make it cool. You trust and the man to let him let him loose with your cash and to see what happens. Yeah, something. basically. And this is what I got. This and I'm not disappointed awesome. at all. So, I mean, uh, I got lucky last time where you accidentally let me drive it and I kind of took it out for accidentally. an extra minute. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think there's that, that very famous video of me going, get Yeah, out. I got in trouble with Sophie for a little while, but she forgave me. She's back, so we're, we're I'm in a good books again. Yeah. Um, what body kit is on this? Um, it's nothing exciting. It's just something from EP Racing. As I said before in like the previous video, I just wanted something like cheap and cheerful. Being given a 700 horsepower car with no experience in driving something like that, I knew that I was going to bump it. Yeah. Um, and if you follow my Instagram, you would know that for the past two years, I've had a fully smashed up bumper and I only got it fixed last month because I was coming down here and I was <laughs> like, I can't turn up on the channel with uh, yeah, a smashed up bumper. So yeah, just something cheap and cheerful. The only thing that like did cost a little bit of money is I had the front wings um, like custom. So they're just the standard... Um, Sylvia wings but with a like a metal flared arch um so I sent them away to a guy in Ireland who did those the Coleman's right I've got to give them a shout Coleman's, out because uh, yeah, I'm yeah. friends with the family over there so I have to give the Coleman's a shout out but um, yeah I did notice those actually when when you pulled in and I said are they OEM mm. redone because they're like a really they allow you to run really low yeah um which is which is a really nice feature the car looks so good driving along um 
I love the body kit. I'd love to know what it's like based off of. It might be a Uras kind of kit, maybe BN. I think so. Or it's sort of that kind of style because yeah. it's quite like wide at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, it looks great. I really, I really, really like it. Um, what is this color code, by the way? Like, do you know what it is? Are you allowed to give it away, or is it a secret? Or I don't know. I do have people ask me all the time, but I just don't want someone to go copy and it. like copy it. <laughs> so, it is off. Uh, it's a standard color off of another car. Wow, which this is, a is actually kind color. of ironic. I would, yeah, it's a factory color. Um, just with, I think it's two or three coats of like a white pearl over the top. Um, but I'll tell you off camera what okay. it's off and you will rip me for Go it. Go on, tell me now, I won't put it in the video. I now know the secret, but the, the, the <laughs> pearl in it looks absolutely beautiful. I hope you can see that on camera. Like I said, the color really sets the car apart now. Let's wander around the car. I like how it's been fitted with the body kit. It looks really smart with the bolts. Yeah. Um, I assume they've got like a thing they wind into behind the uh, bumpers. Yeah. But, um, that's a nice little touch instead of just seeing screw heads. That was Connor's, uh, Connor's idea to make it just a little bit more drifty. Give that a little bit more of a look. Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think it looks really smart to be fair. It doesn't look out of place at all. You've got the huge shotgun exhaust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, are they a custom jobby by him? Yeah, that was him. He made all of that. I wanted something that was a bit like, what do they call it? Like Kanjo kind of style? Because they have it on like- Bozu those, Bozo like... Zuku style sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, and I saw it on another car. Um, I think it was a 15 in um, America or somewhere. And it had it and I was like, I want that. That's what I want. It looks so cool. Now to anybody watching in England will be able to identify your private number plate, which is so yeah. cool <laughs> for what the car is, S body. And then obviously with the kiss at the end of it, it just works so good. Mm -hmm. um, I think it always a... gets mistaken though. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Hang on, tell, tell everyone what that guy said to you on the way down here. So I was driving here yesterday and I pulled over into a fuel station and this guy in a white van pulled up beside me and I could see him looking at me. I was thinking, you're going to say something. Anyway, so I filled up my car and he come over and he went, that number plate fits you well. And I was like, what? And he was like, well, it says sexy body, doesn't it? And I was like, no, it stands for, S it means S body because like that's what the car is. And he went, oh, well, I just thought it said sexy body because you, you've got a really sexy body. And I was like, thank you, I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, I'll take dude. it, I'll take it. Right, show me on the inside because you've done some changes on there as well. Your interior has changed slightly since we were last in here. Please, show me around. So when I came down here last, we had those really stupid seats, if you remember, where you couldn't actually look at the driver or the passenger. Um, so I had the Corbo wraparound seats, um, but I actually had these Vertex um, Bride collaboration seats before, but I was never going to put them in here. And then it got to a point where having those wraparounds on the road is like so unpractical like you just can't see anything while you're driving and it felt really unsafe so I was like yep yeah, I'm gonna put these um bride seats in and honestly they're like my favorite part of the car I absolutely love these seats I was just telling you the story about how I actually got them from that yeah, Mitto yeah. guy um <laughs> that Mitto guy <laughs> sorry I don't know what else to call him um but yeah other than that not really much has changed um obviously still got the likewise steering wheel um this is kind of like the one part of the car that I really want to switch up this winter. What's that, sorry? The interior. Oh, okay. Um, so I want to like completely strip it out and respray the whole of the inside because it gets so hot in here. Oh, hi, Finn. Um, Finn. <laughs> he's like, I want to be in here. <laughs> sorry, everybody, this is my dog, Finn. <laughs> um, yeah, this is like the one thing I want to change because where it gets so hot in here, the paint has like literally melted off the inside of the car. Um, so I want to respray like the whole inside of it black just so it looks nice and clean. Um, and I like just having sort of like a, a nice sort of plain interior um, with a couple of like little like standout bits. But other than that, not too much has changed. When I picked it up from Connors a couple of days ago, he'd move around all of like my centre console and stuff because I had the radio in there, which didn't work. Um, so we've put my Toucan Dash in there with my like the little buttons, which obviously turns on my anti-lag and my cow switch button, which I think looks really smart. I just want to spray that interior a bit black so it all just kind of like blends in. Oh, I quite like the sparkly silver. I know it's like probably just scratch silver, but it kind of yeah. works with your bucket seats because they're kind of glittery, aren't they? But yeah. Yeah, true. I don't hate it. I just like everything to be like black and yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, so yeah, I want to do that at some point, but that was sort of a very quick thing because he had to pull apart the interior a couple of days ago. So he was just like, oh, I'm going to move this around while we're here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that... So basically, it's quite a nice fast road drift car type yeah. looking thing. The brides, I'm going to be honest, are very tight. <laughs> they are small. I'm a, I'm a 33 waist currently <laughs> and they're tight on me. Um, you've got the nice pink Corbo harnesses in mm -hmm. here to show those off, which we can supply at Pure Car Modify if anybody is interested. Quick <laughs> plug. Um, they're really, really nice. They're really, really nice. Um, do you want to pop the engine open so we can quickly have a of look at I that can. power plant? 
So if I remember rightly, Soph, mm -hmm. this is an unopened engine. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's still running sweet. Yeah. Testament to Toyota there, how well they built these things. How is everything going with the car, with the engine? You've got a, what turbo did you say you have on this? Uh, 3582 Garrett turbo. Um, obviously, single turbo conversion. Yeah, it kind of is, you get what, get what you see. And what sort of power <laughs> is this putting so out on the dyno? It's mapped to 693 horsepower. Um, which obviously with the different cow settings that would be like the top cow. Yeah. Um, I'm not really that brave and I'm probably going to get ripped for that but I usually keep it in like cow three to cow five. Uh, I'm still kind of like working my way up to it but what, it's a lot. <laughs> what power is that? In the, um, in I think that's around like 550, 600. Still a like lot of horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> to be coming through some rear wheels in a car like this it's still a lot. Um, I did sorry what roll cage is in it? We didn't, I don't think we spoke. What roll cage is it? It's a bolt uh, in or something. Is it a Cusco or? I actually have no idea. Know, we no. literally just went, me and Connor just went and bought it off some. Oh, it was like a second hand like, one, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It looks very nice uh, as a bolt in. So, um, so what, what coilovers are run on this as well? Because I see they've got the green tops. Does that mean they're HSDs or is this. Uh... I want to say they're still my teens. I don't oh, think we've yeah, changed yeah, them. Yeah, probably a tine. Yep, yeah, green. Sorry, I didn't think of that. Uh, teen, tine, how you yeah. say um, it? <laughs> yeah, I say tine, but that's just because from Essex, so we always pronounce everything disgustingly common. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm glad to see you've still got it. Uh, will you take me out on it so we can do some rips in it again and maybe a burnout or two? I guess I could. Yeah, cool, let's do it. <laughs> that is a good sounding car, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> so, as we've already done a video, I don't want to go over the same things. I want to know, how have you found owning it now? Like, you've had it ages, right? And it's been in this stage for a long time. So how has it been for you? To be fair, I still enjoy it, like, as much as the day I picked it up. I can't, honestly can't say that I feel, like, way more confident in it because, like, still, every time I get in it, it scares the shit out of me. I just, yeah. But I love it, like, every time I don't have it, like, when it goes down for, like, a little bit of work or whatever, and, like, the sun comes out, I'm like, oh, I need the car back. Like, yeah. I just, I love being in it. I love it. I absolutely love it. And, obviously, there's always teething issues with any build. What, yeah. have, you, what have you experienced in the time that you've had it? So. so, I can safely say that I haven't really had much, to be fair. Um, when Connor gave me the car, literally the only issues that we had was my clutch burnt itself out during mapping. Um, so I've had two CDO9 boxes. Um, the first one that we put in literally cooked itself within the first couple of months um, of me having the car. But I think that's because I was like trying to get used to it. That was probably my fault. Um, so we've got another CDO9 box, put that in um, and rebuilt the other one, which we've still got. Put this one in and this one isn't great. Like. It's, it's all right, it works, but I can't really get it in third gear properly, like the synchro's not very good, um, and it doesn't go into sick fever, but it's like fine, it's like bearable for, for what I use it for. For now it does a job. Yeah, yeah. The, the main issue that I had when I got the car back was the power steering, so the pump exploded um, and it was just chucking oil everywhere, and I had to keep filling it up and then it would run out, um, and then I'd have to use like all of my strength to like drive the car because um, yeah. the steering wheel was like so heavy. Um, so we changed that to electric power steering. But honestly, other than that, there's been no issues like touch wood. Um, yeah, Connor did a good job to be fair. Good. Go on, give it, give it a little quick. Oh, hang on. Oh my god, that is, that is so good. <laughs> That's when, you, when you get around here, do one more. Okay, okay. That's only cow four, so that's like, I don't know, just under 500 horsepower maybe. I want a 2J. But it scares 
the hell out of me because at any point it could step out of me and I would, Oh wow you know. that is insane. So like I've said you've had it for a while now. Have you got any future plans for it? Because obviously a build is never done and we've spoke way yeah. loads about this and you've said quite adamantly you're never selling this. No, so never. what's next for the old girl? Yeah, so I'd literally go bankrupt before I sold this. Like, I'd live in this like before I got rid of it. Um, like you said, a build is never finished. I have had the car like as is for well, probably coming up about two years now, so there's been minimal changes like we said earlier. But I want to get it back down to Connor this winter. Um, to be honest, the most part that I want to sort out is like, like I said, the interior, because it's a bit tatty. I just want to like clean that up so it looks really nice. Um, it feels really nice to be in it and I also want to sort out the engine bay so when we built the car because obviously Covid hit during when it was being built and it took a lot longer than usual I just wanted the car back so Connor kind of put it together in a way so it works I could have it back and then we could worry about like how it looks later um, so now I need to like get it all back so, so it looks nice so I want him to pull the engine out um, and re-spray the engine bay to match the colour of the car just so it looks like proper clean. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, but also he wants to do some like engine work on it. He wants to take it to a thousand horsepower. I got no problem with that. Personally, I think he's letting himself in for hell um, <laughs> because he's handed over a girl that still can't control the 700 horsepower and then given me a thousand, but it'll be fine. Well. You've come down to me twice now, so when it's a thousand horsepower, I think I have to come down to you for that one. Yeah, definitely. Um, after sitting in here for, how long have you been in this car? I've been in here six minutes, my legs are on fire. It's that how, how you drove all the way, seven hours she's came for this, so I'm so grateful to Sophie for doing this. Um, wow, what a cool car to own. I have to say, I fit in these vertex seats all right. I thought it was going to be a right struggle being my fat ass, but... It's uncomfortable when you're sat in there a while. Yeah, like, my imagine. ass was numb yesterday. <laughs> once again for coming down i really really appreciate you with the effort you put in not only for like coming down to me to do field videos but the car's always changing up it's a savage build and uh i hope anybody who doesn't follow you will come over and check it out on your social medias they're all linked down below so thank you once again <laughs> go on give it one more for good luck okay all right So that brings us to the end of Sophie's S14 feature. I hope you liked it. Let us know down below what your favorite part of the car is. I love the color. I mean, driving it's insane and uh, it's obviously very well put together, but this color is a standout feature for me. Hope you guys liked it. We'll see you in the next one.